Well, as we've been discussing, overnight Israel issued a travel warning to its citizens against flying to Australia because of the extreme anti-Semitism. Israel says travel to Australia for Israelis is no longer safe. And who can blame them after the horrific protest against the families of Israelis kidnapped or killed at a Melbourne hotel last week? The protest taking place inside the hotel. But I wonder if Australia is now feeling unsafe, not just for Israelis, but for Jews. We know there's been a five-fold increase in anti-Semitic incidents, but tonight I can sadly reveal one incident that will break your heart. A group of 13-year-old girls were sitting in their Jewish school uniform at Westfield Bondi Junction in Sydney just yesterday. They were in the food court chatting I'm not going to name the school. I don't want to draw attention to it or put anyone at risk. But they were 13-year-old girls. Someone from the level above them started throwing food at them, beef jerky. It hit one of the girls on the head. The girls moved away. Then a box that looks like it had been under the shopping centre Christmas tree landed just next to them. They saw that it had several swastikas etched and drawn on it. You can see the box on your screen now. Several swastikas. This is the box. The Jewish Board of Deputies is now involved. New South Wales Police have confirmed to us they're investigating and Westfield is analysing its security footage. I spoke to the mothers of one of the girls today. She told me that her family isn't going to let this anti-Semitism anti stop them from being proud Jews. She told me my daughter asked me afterward if I would let her go with friends again to the junction. I said, without hesitation, you can go. She then asked me if she should wear her uniform. I said, absolutely, yes. We need to be proud of who we are and show no fear in the face of the hate that's designed to scare us. Strong words, both from that 13-year-old girl and her mother. This is nothing to do with Israel. This is the harassment and targeting of young Jewish schoolgirls, all because they're Jewish. It's disgraceful. This is what's now happening in Australia every single day. The horrible targeting of Australian Jews, including school students, just because of our religion. Peter Dutton is right. Anti-Semitism needs to be on the agenda of National Cabinet. Why won't Albanese do this? He's the Prime Minister for all Australians, not just voters in marginal Labor seats where the voters might not support Israel. He needs to take seriously this continued rise in anti-Semitism. He needs to stop the erosion of social cohesion in this country and he can start by clearly putting it on the agenda at National Cabinet, speaking out about it, making it clear that it's unacceptable. It needs to be a top priority because innocent Jewish Australians, schoolgirls just minding their business, are being unfairly targeted. And by the way, our media isn't helping because the ABC and other left-wing outlets keep amplifying false claims that Israel is committing war crimes, and killing innocent Palestinians. Israel is not doing this, as you know. But again, just last night, the ABC decided to platform a Jew who doesn't support Israel. Publisher Louise Adler clearly made the case on the ABC that's what, that what's going on now in Gaza is like the Holocaust. Have a look. It is important and it is vital for us not to look away, that we all have a choice, that the world looked away during the Second World War and Jews, six million of our people, were murdered in that looking away, and that it is incumbent upon humanity to look at what is happening in Gaza now and to say, we will not accept this, we will say no, not in our name. And that's on the ABC's flagship current affairs program, The 7.30 Report. What she said is wrong. It is extremely, extremely offensive. People who actually experienced the Holocaust, and I speak to them, they email me, 
are devastated by the current rise of anti-Semitism. 100 Holocaust survivors signed a letter, if you'll remember, it was on the front page of The Australian, calling for an end to the anti-Semitism we're seeing. What's happening in Gaza now is nothing like the Holocaust. It couldn't be further apart. Israeli soldiers are sending text messages, making phone calls, staying on the phone to people in Gaza until they've evacuated their apartment before they strike. They're making every effort to save civilian lives. It's Hamas that's putting Palestinians in danger. It's Hamas to blame for the loss of Palestinian lives. But what's curious is that not once in that very long interview last night did Laura Tingle ask Louise Adler about the terrorist attack on October 7. And Louise Adler did not think to mention it. And why can't the ABC instead interview on its high-profile platform Jews who actually support Israel like most of our community do?